The 2017 Faith Challenge continues our 12 step spiritual workout. We started the year focusing on daily Bible reading and daily prayer, and then we moved into the importance of repenting, coming before our Heavenly Father and recognizing, you know, we, we are sinners. We have screwed up uh, some things we know we've done, some things we haven't known. We don't know that we've done, but God can forgive them all. But once we get to that point, then there's a next step another step of forgiveness, and that is a step of forgiving ourselves, which many times can be one of the most difficult things for us personally to do. Pastor Neil Whitney from the church at Allentown joins me today to talk about that important step of forgiveness. First, forgiving ourselves. Good morning. Hello, Neil. Thank you for being with us. Well, good morning. It's great to be here. I don't know about you, but I've made a mistake or two in my life, and I've been guilty, and I've discovered that it's hardest to forgive me because I really know how guilty I am. Mm. I realize how much I've failed God in the process. And then the Bible says the battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. So then the devil steps in and keeps reminding me of how guilty I am. So then it becomes a battle, a big battle. Yeah, that, that, that pesky devil who, who does not want to see us move forward but God has forgiven us. We truly are supposed to have freedom in Christ. Um, are there any things that a person can do to help fight that battle and get move forward with self-forgiveness? Oh, the number one thing for me is to recognize that what Jesus did on the cross for me is a reality in my life today. And that's probably the hardest thing to remember is that God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, 1 John 1, 9. And I have to constantly remind myself that, that that's true. And the devil doesn't want me to believe that. He would rather that I would buy the lie that I'm still guilty. For those of you at home who are thinking possibly about things that are going on in your life, maybe you are recognizing that there's some areas that you've just, you've allowed the guilt to overtake you and, and uh, you're in those chains. I want you to stop and think about that. You truly are a child of God. Amen. And the day that Jesus died on the cross, even though it was 2000 plus years ago, it was done for you. It was a one time sacrifice that doesn't ever expire. And for anything you have done in your life, whether it was yesterday, last week, or 25 years ago, that blood on the cross, that sacrifice covered it. And so today could be an opportunity for you to just start proclaiming that, proclaiming, yes, I am a child of God. Jesus died for me and Satan, you cannot continue to have power over me. I will move forward in that victory of forgiveness. Forgiveness is an incredible thing. I mean, where would any of us be without forgiveness? We would be toast. <laughs> the big thing about Jesus dying on the cross, I ask a lot of people in the process of sharing faith and, and growing, uh, we need to understand that if we'd been the only person on the face of the earth, Jesus would have died on the cross for us. And that's huge to accept that personal sacrifice for us. It's how much God loves us that he would send Jesus to die just for one person, and that person is me, and that person is you, and that person is anyone who is uh, listening. So we're about out of time, but how about for the person who is really serious about this, really does want to move forward? Maybe there has been some habitual sins, or maybe there's been issues that, that is, you know, the shame is so great. They're serious, they're moving on, two weeks from now they mess up again. Have they blown it? Is it, is it too late now? It's never too late. <laughs> uh, this time to start over. God will forgive you as many times as is necessary, as long as your heart is right. An accountability partner is the answer to that question. Mm. Uh, James, it says, confess your sins one to the other, other. Yes. that you might be healed. So that's a huge key, that second. So believe you have the power of God within you and believe that same power resides in another person that can walk alongside you uh, to help you uh, have the victory that God wants you to have and the freedom that you mentioned earlier. And that accountability partner, that's, that's really important. Now, I know there's a lot of churches within our viewing area, a lot of great ones, but is there anything that your church offers or any services you know of? If someone's saying, hey, I gotta figure out how to do that. I gotta find the accountability partner. I gotta find the group. I am ready to move forward. 
Any church that operates in the realm of Celebrate Recovery can help you with that. And there's a lot of those in Lima mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So any Celebrate Recovery church uh, is a great place to start. But I'm sure almost every church has an accountability uh, mechanism in one way or another. All right, accountability, forgiveness, moving forward, freedom in Jesus Christ. These are all things that are available to you no matter what's happened in your life. And today is the end of the shame game. It's Amen. all gone. Don't allow yourself to live in that anymore. Um, if you happen to be watching me in a dark room with your, you know, get some sunlight in there, get yourself out in the open area. Don't just feel the sun, S-U-N, feel the sun, S-O-N, because Jesus did die on the cross for you. That means he has forgiven you Amen. and he wants you also to forgive yourself.